Hi everyone and welcome to Orient Today. We have a very special edition this week because it was Kids Camp Week and so I'm Lexi McKinney, your host. I'm also an intern here at ONTV and I have some co-hosts here with me today. I have Addison and I have Kaiden. Say hi! Hello! Hi. So this week was a pretty big week, right? You had lots to complete, you had some video production elements to learn. What was that like? Um, I feel like it was a lot of fun just getting to learn how to use all of the equipment and it was like it was very informative because you got to learn how to use it and such. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite parts is really just making friends along making friends along the way. It's awesome, you know. Very fun experience. Yeah. So do you guys go to school together or Yeah. Um, what school do you go to? Uh, Saint Joseph. Very nice. And mm -hmm. then what grade are you going into? I'm going into eighth grade. And I'm going into seven, so. Exciting. So the middle school years, oh, right? Yeah. Are we looking forward to it? Um, no. No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's okay. Who, difficult. who really looks difficult. forward to school? But, you know. Right. There's I mean, always though new I'm challenges. Excited, I'm excited, but it's, I, I know it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's talk a little bit about this camp this week. So you had to learn a lot of roles, right? So oh, yeah. was it, you know, the camera operator, it was acting too, it was learning how all the equipment works together. What was your favorite part? Uh, mine was acting and hosting. I just love, you know, talking to people and just expressing yourself. I think that's a really fun part of it. What about you, yeah, Addison? I'm going to agree with that. I, I, I've, I've always really enjoyed acting and I like getting to talk to people as well. So what made you sign up for this camp? Um, me and her both have done it. Um, this is my second year, this is her third, and we just really enjoy, I mean, enjoy it. We, um, super just fun experience, as I said. Yeah, well, for sure. We're so happy that you joined back another summer. Very cool. Do you have any certain plans that you want to talk about this summer that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the engineering camp I'm going to be doing at Michigan Tech and then going to Alaska. I'm really excited about that because I've never been before. Alaska, that's beautiful. So that's like super exciting to think about. And when are you going to Alaska? Uh, closer to the end of the summer. Okay, so you've got lots of things planned. Awesome. What about you, Kaiden? I'm going on a big RV trip and I'm also going up north for a while. Very exciting too. Mm -hmm. So you've got some trips planned, getting ready for that. Mm -hmm. So cool. Well, I hear that you had put together a skit. Is that right with all the other campers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so let's talk a little bit about that. So what's the skit about? Do you have any hints um, that you can give us? It's about a heist and, you know, robbing a library. So Yeah, like oh. a heist at a library. There's some very dramatic scenes and it, there, it's also got a lot of humor. Oh, yeah. So you were both actors in mm -hmm. the skit? Yeah, everyone at the camp got a chance to act in it at some mm -hmm. point. So how many takes did it take to make this come together? With I, the, and I with feel the like it, some, of one, some scenes took like 200 takes. It pr I'm probably <laughs> exaggerating it, but it felt like that because someone, not looking at anyone specifically, uh, kept making everyone laugh. And then we had to retake <laughs> it. Couldn't I, it be I'm me. not looking at someone specifically. Definitely not looking at someone specifically. Couldn't be me. I mean... <laughs> so the skit was a great time, it sounds like. Yeah, Ryan, right. lots was, of good memories. Was. What was your favorite part of putting the skit together? Um, you know, oh my gosh, tough, really tough question. Yeah. But, um, you know, as causing fun times, I like to say, not chaos, fun uh, times. I'd say you times. caused a bit of chaos there. Oh. Well, I say fun times. But yeah, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We got to go through, do a bunch of different takes of a bunch of different scenes, and then getting to see the final product was a lot of fun. Well, I want to see the final product, so how about we share it with everyone? What you mm -hmm. think? Okay. Let's see it. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, team, listen up. Today we're going to pull up the greatest heist this library has ever seen. I've hacked into their security system. We have a small window of opportunity to get in undetected. And once we're inside, no one stands a chance against me. I'll create a distraction at the front desk to keep the librarian busy. And I'll make sure we can get into locked doors or cabinets. I'll keep watch outside and let you know if anyone's coming. I'll have the getaway car ready to roll in a moment's notice. I'll sneak ahead and scout the layout of the library. I'll keep track of our progress to make sure we stay on schedule. What can I do? Lily, you're with me. You'll be my right-hand woman on this mission. moment of truth. A gold book. This could be worth a fortune. Uh-oh. Sounds like our distraction just got a whole lot bigger. Don't worry, I got this. Welcome back to this edition of Orion Today. We have some special guests here because it was Kids Camp Week. So I have my co-hosts here. I'm Lexi, and then I have Annalise, and, and I have Kaiden. And we have our special guest here. This is Penny Schultz, Orion Township Clerk. She has also done lots of work with Owen TV as a volunteer. How are you doing today, Penny? I'm doing great, Lexi. It's so good to be here today. We're so happy that we have you in the studio, and I know they are ready to ask you some questions here, mm -hmm. so go right on into it. Can you tell me what the clerk does in the township? I'm glad you asked. So what the clerk does is keep track of all the money. 
your parents pay taxes and we want to make sure that all that tax information that you send in is accounted for. So I am responsible for tracking those dollars and making sure that everything gets spent according to the budget and what the board has approved. And also I get to help run the elections, which is amazing because we all like to know what's going on with the vote. And I help people get make sure they're registered to vote and be sure that they vote in each election. That's awesome. How long have you been working with Owen TV? So I started working at Owen TV in 2009. I wow. started my first program with them and I love coming here. Everyone's so nice and it's just a lot of fun to meet people like you and then to also find out what everybody's doing. I love, I'm naturally nosy and I love <laughs> to find out what's going on in mm -hmm. people's lives and share that with everybody. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Share what you think makes ON TV special. The people. I love Joe, Ian, Tessa, Becky, oh my gosh, and I love Tracy, everyone and everybody, Joey, they just make you feel like your family, right? Yes. And they want to tell your story and they encourage you like they're doing with you today and through the kids camp, they just encourage you to be, um, be sharing your gifts, right? And be a part of the community in a greater way. And it's just really nice just to be here. It's That's the best right. feeling, is it not? Everyone coming together, we all have the same passion, the same drive, the same dedication. Everyone does make you feel like family. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite memory here at ONTV, Penny? I do. Um, so we, I had this program and I would interview people from other countries. And there was this man that came in from Rwanda. He's a pastor, Pastor Ian. And he just landed here and all of a sudden, we were talking to him about what was going on in Rwanda. And he loved this community center and he loved Owen TV and he wanted to build a community center like this back in Rwanda for the people there. And he did. No he way. He came, saw what we had here and he was able to do, not to do exactly the same thing, but do what fit his community and his people. And he was really happy to just see what we were all doing here. That cool. is I amazing. Wanna, I want to be a pastor when I grow up. That's awesome. And so do that, right? You've got giftings and callings. So whatever you know that you're supposed to be doing, things like this will help you reach that goal. Mm -hmm. That is so true. And Penny, you have such a busy plate, I'm sure. You have to tackle on a lot of different jobs, and especially it's election year. So how's that been, preparing for everything and getting things in order? It's fun. Um, I like to bring order to everything. Um, I look at everything that we're required to do from a transparency perspective. We want people to know what's happening. And ONTV helps me get the word out. So we always enlist them early on and they help us get publications ready, um, programs ready, public service announcements ready, just so the voters are informed. But it's really nice when the people come in and because we prepared well, the people come in and they vote and they go to their precinct on election day or they come to the clerk's office and vote early. It's just really nice to see the whole process that we've put in place make it easy for people to vote. Well, we awesome. thank you so much for what you do because you have a very vital job to the community. So thank you for getting everything in order. You do a phenomenal job and we're so happy that we had you in the studio today. Thanks for coming in. Any other last minute questions that we have for Penny? Can I ask them a question? Yeah, please. Have you ever been with your parents to a voting precinct? Um, uh, I went with my grandma to one. That's awesome. Fantastic. How about you, Annalise? I don't think so. So if you get the chance coming up August 6th and someone invites you to go, make sure you go. So you'll get to see the process and you'll get an, a future voter sticker. But we'd love to have you take part in this with your family members. Mm -hmm. I love That's getting awesome. that little sticker. I do it's too. so fun. It's like the best part too is you get to walk on and you're like, hey, I did something very influential today. It's great. Yes, that's right, Lexi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Penny, mm -hmm. for having us with you today and getting to have us kind of talk with you about everything going on. So with the kids camp, there was a cooking segment I hear, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was one of the cool parts of the camp is we got to put on a little cooking segment and all of you did a phenomenal job of playing a role with the video production side of things. Let's take a look at what you got to create. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the ONTV Kids Camp Cooking Show. I'm Arissa. I'm Angelina. I'm Quinn. 
And today we're going to be decorating cupcakes, beach party theme. Mm -hmm. So we have the cupcakes, and we have the frosting, and we have the sprinkles, and then we made these, um, these little like things that you put in there. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a piping bag. This is a coupler. It has two parts. And we have a ton of tips. So you cut the bag. And then you stick this part of the coupler into the bag all the way down. <laughs> and then you would choose a tip, put it on, and screw this little top on. <laughs> <laughs> and screw this little top on. And then you'll fill the bag with frosting and you'll be ready to decorate. Mm -hmm. So we have three different colors here and um, yellow. Let's pink. keep decorating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Grab the cupcake and there you, is... You want to twist it so the frosting doesn't squirt out that end. And you want to hold it like this and... And see whatever whoop. dominant you have. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You push down, pull up, push down, pull up, push down, pull up. Or you can do a little swirly thing on the top. <laughs> Have you guys ever made like cupcakes before? <laughs> a couple times. I make cookies and not cupcakes. Whenever I make my cupcakes, they turn out flat. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's a little spoon to sprinkle them. Looks like oh. the Grinch <laughs> in yellow skin. It's supposed to be beach themed, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a little swirl on top. And I'm done with mine. <laughs> Looks good. And Mine is the inspiration of a coral reef. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks really cool. Thank you. Any funny stories anyone got? About baking? <laughs> or just going on? Can you please pass the blue sprinkles? Yes, thank you. Pink. The orange ones. You, you guys can decorate however you guys want. All the orange and blue, by the way, and my cupcake are this. Hmm. Looks like a coral reef. <laughs> One oh, yes. complete. <laughs> okay. And I put some rainbow sprinkles on mine. And if you want, you can switch the tips on your um, pipe bag. We have a ton of them, and we can do different designs, like circle, moon-shaped, stars. You can do any design you want on your cake. So I'm gonna switch mine to oh, this thing. odd design. <laughs> so just the same thing, put this on, and then screw the second half of the cup wear. Mm -hmm. And you keep decorating. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
you want to switch frostings? Sure. Okay. I'm just going to put this on. Get this tip. Okay. Do a little, little shaking. There you go. So. How is your guys' summer so far? Pretty good. Yeah. You guys have a beach party? No. Yeah. <laughs> have you? No. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. Okay. Could be for beach party. Yes. That's an interesting cupcake, Arissa. It can do many um, different designs. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That guy been making me so good. <laughs> the bread. What should we talk about? Um, you know, one of the best desserts. What do you guys? What do you guys think? What's your favorite dessert? Cupcakes. Okay. Um, probably ice cream. Ice cream. Definitely ice cream. Well, one time I made like, it was like I took an apple and I baked it. It was a green apple. And then um, it has cinnamon and raisins and like the inside for like flavoring. And there's the blue. Yeah. And then you put vanilla ice cream with it too. And so that was a really good dessert. Or like root beer floats. Mm, yeah, those are good. That's the rainbow sprinkles. Okay. Thanks. Can um have the yellow? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hot yeah. outside, isn't it? Yeah. It's very hot outside, but it's freezing in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Preston tastes really good. I approve. Can't wait to eat all these. <laughs> right? Wow, we're going to get the whole plate full. Four more to go. Oh, that looks cool. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 -da. One time for um, my parents' anniversary, me and Arissa, we made. Um, we're sisters, if you can tell. <laughs> we made pancakes, but they were like flat pancakes in the shape of a heart. I don't even know how we did it. We were like, like cut them seven out. at the time. And we made eggs, but we forgot to add milk. And so they were also flat and like flaky. Um, <laughs> and they were still kind of like not cooked fully, but we served them anyway. And that was one of the most difficult things. I've ever done in baking. <laughs> That's the most difficult thing that you have baked before. Um, probably like I've tried to bake a cake, but let's just say it didn't turn out that well. <laughs> oh, yeah, we baked a chocolate cake with stra fresh strawberries before. It was, it was really good. Um, well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. So thank you for watching. 
uh, OMTV Kids Camp Cooking Show. Oh, yeah. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to Orion Today. This is a special edition this week. We have the kids video camp going on and we got to see them make some cupcakes. And I have my hosts here, I'm Lexi, this is... Annalise. And? Addison. And you got cupcakes too. So you got to make a little skit, you had some fun learning about the different roles here in the studio and cupcakes, how were they? They were really good. They were delicious. I mean, the oh, cupcakes. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with cupcakes unless, like, in the cartoons and books and stuff where they mix up the salt and the sugar. Other than that, I don't think you can go too wrong with cupcakes. Ooh, that would be a bad mix-up, though, wouldn't that? Yeah. That would be pretty so gross. I don't think that ever happens in real life because people usually label it. Yes, yes. The importance of that. And they were decorated really nice. Well, yeah. It was, like, a beach theme. Yeah. So that's exciting, of yeah. course, and it's I summertime. And, I mean, like, it's frosting, and you can't go wrong with frosting. Yeah, so I love cupcakes. They're one of my favorite treats, for yeah. sure. They're the best. So we've got to do lots of fun things here in the studio today. And now we have a very, very special interview going on. So we're going to take it out to our mobile location at ONTV for this interview. Okay. Hi, I'm Gabby, reporting for Orient Today. We're, We're here, here in the brand new ONTV garage with Ian Locke, Executive, Executive Director of ONTV. Tell us about this new space at ONTV. Uh, we're really excited about it. Well, thank you, Gabby, for having me and interviewing us today about uh, uh, the garage. And thank you for attending Kids Camp. Hope you're having a good time. But the garage, let's talk about the garage. Uh, this is the first new addition to ONTV in 12 years. So 12 years ago, we built the studio and this is the first addition to the building in all that time. Now, uh, you see behind us, we have a bunch of shelves with a bunch of stuff and equipment on the walls. That was all in our studio prior to building this garage. So we can never really use our studio to its fullest because it was always had shelves and stuff in it. So we decided to build the garage to have a home for all of our stuff. And we have equipment and gear and a variety of other things uh, that we want to store in here, as well as our production van and some other things. So we're really happy to have it. And this is a world premiere. Did you know that? You're the first to report on this brand new garage. Oh, wow. That's exciting. <laughs> it is. Um, so... I see, I see you have the big van here in the garage. Can you, can you tell me more, more about what you use this for? Yeah, sure. Um, if you look at it, I'll, I'll step aside a little bit. <laughs> we have a big sticker on the side, and it really is a rolling billboard for what we do, right? So when we roll down the street, you can see and help advertise for what Orion Neighborhood Television is. And we have pictures of our volunteers, an old kid, kid's camper there that that student's uh, long through high school by now. Kind, kind of crazy. crazy. And, but, but yeah, you, you can, can see our website and find out more about ONTV, TV and you get an idea that, oh, there's, there's an entity in town that's a TV station called ONTV. But what, what the main purpose of that big man is, is to carry the gear. See, Drew's, see, Drew's over there. there. He's, he's technic he's one of our video campers. campers. Wave, Drew. He's, he's one, one of our video campers, campers and he's running, running all the equipment for us here in this production today for this interview. And that gear over there is very heavy, and it's really big. So we basically take a whole studio and condense it down uh, to that little box, well, that big box that Drew is working on over there. And uh, we roll it into the van, which is very heavy, and then we can take it around to different places in our production truck. We do sporting events, we do news, news events, uh, concerts down at Wildwood Amphitheater, and like Dragon on the Lake festivals and a whole bunch of things. So that's what we do. So, um, have you ever, like, hurt yourself <laughs> carrying that, or...? Um, yes, yes I've hurt myself. myself. Um, if, if we, we go back, back to Drew, we see the big, uh, I don't know if the back of Joey's, Joey's head. Joey's here, too, one of my, my uh, production coordinators here. Hi, Joey. Um, yes, uh, he helps 
know, well, he, he basically runs, runs all this gear, and, and I help him load things, but yes, I've been injured. Um, uh, Joey's a lot younger than I am, he's a lot stronger than I am, so uh, we work together to get the gear in the truck, but yeah, I've hurt my back a couple times. I've pinched my fingers on tripods, I've done all that kind of stuff. Um, so the camera that uh, you see what we're talking on today, yes, I've pinched my fingers many a time on that camera, and it's not fun, but nothing real, real major, but yeah, there's bumps and bruises along the way. So even though you've hurt yourself, um, do you enjoy working here? Um, enjoy would be an understatement. I love working here. Um, the whole crew here at ONTV, uh, we love working together. We're a great team, and we're always focused on the mission at hand of having students in to train you and give you experiences like this kids' camp, um, but also going around our community and recording news events and all the different things we do here. It's, it, it's, it's not a job. It really is kind of, I get paid to do my hobby, which is, I'm very, very lucky. And yeah, we really love working here at ONTV. TV. Okay, well, um, thank you for showing us around this new garage and being here with us. Um, if you'd like to more, know more about ONTV and watch ONTV programs, um, head on over to orionontv.org. For today, I'm Gabby. Back to you in the studio. Welcome back. That was a wonderful interview. Thank you so much for that report. It's so fun seeing everything happen mobily as well, right? So I'm Lexi here and I have my host with me. This is Annalise. Addison. Titan. So it's been a great week, right? We've had lots of memories. We've had lots of laughs. Let's talk a little bit about your thoughts on everything. So you got to meet lots of new, hopefully, friends here at the camp. And what was it like learning about everything while also meeting new people? Um, it's just an incredible experience. Um, <laughs> the, super fun. Yeah, lots of laughs. We had a pickle situation yesterday. Oh gosh, you not were, the pickle. You were in a pickle, is that what you're saying? No, uh, yeah. he brought in a, a green squishy pill pickle. <laughs> oh, it, and it, and was it, was, over it. it was thrown around constantly. It was <laughs> chaotic, to say the least. To say uh, chaotic, I want to I wanna describe it as that. I describe it as fun. <laughs> but also chaotic. It, it, it caused a lot of. We were trying to film the skit yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, the pickle caused us to have to take about like what felt like 200 takes of some things, where it was a single line, a single line. So it, w it had some problems arise when you were trying to make your skit. Um, I also wanted to ask you all about. I heard there was like a taco discussion. I think oh, it was like that, Tuesday. That was, on the first, that was the first day. So, first day. Oh, that was the first day. So that was Monday. So what, what's going on with tacos? I know that we were was all, all talking him. about so, tacos. Um, that was all him. Tacos. I I'm just gonna say tacos are just it's something. It you can't you can't. Tacos are. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt you really quickly. This is kind he's, of what happened last I'm time. I'm gonna interrupt you. Tacos are what? He was trying to be extra dramatic and start and started like tearing up over it to be extra dramatic. And here he goes again. All right, just tell it. They have green inside them. <laughs> Yeah, because he was also going on over how amazing the color green is. This is him being extra dramatic. Nick said that. This is just. This is kind of for you. <laughs> I think he we have. Like crying. I think it's safe. It's, it's called safe say. crying. It's called acting. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we have some future actors and actresses among us um, here in the kids' camps for sure. Um, and I wanted to ask you all again. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the tacos just give me all sneezy or whatever. <laughs> Who's faking it again? I feel like he's faking it. This is obviously fake. <laughs> So what was your favorite role that you got to play? Was it being the actor? Mm -hmm. Was it, you know, going behind the scenes and making sure, I know that you were working with Joe, and he's the best when it comes to filming all of the B-roll, all oh, yeah. the shots you need to make a skit possible. What was that like, and what was your favorite part? I liked being the camera operator, and I also liked being a guest. You liked being a guest. So were you nervous at all when you were, you know, being interviewed by other um, people no. in the camp? No, no. No nerves. You were like, I got this. I'm confident. I can do this. I love that. You need that attitude in life, right? You need to just be confident with yourself and say, I can do this. Yeah. What about for both uh, of you? For me, personally, my favorite roles were the ones where I got to be on camera because I enjoy acting and I enjoy getting to talk to people, and then it was just fun. It was just fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What about uh, you? I loved hosting and just you know as she said talking to people it's really super fun throwing a taco mm -hmm. i mean it pickle yeah a lot of things you know mm -hmm. taco, pickle, <laughs> thing. yeah. so 
I wanted to ask you all this because I know when I was younger, I always wanted to be on TV. That was my dream. So now that you're in seventh and eighth grade and you know moving on, it's gonna be high school soon, right? In the blink of an eye, what is your dream job? Like, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Um, I'd say actor. I mean, that sounds like such a fun job. I can see you doing it. You're very good at being overdramatic. <laughs> <laughs> be in those horror movies. Jonathan. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of this is just so overdramatic, and it's like, okay, you can cut back on the drama here a little bit. Cut back make on it, the drama. Make, make it, it, it might be what? an alien invasion, but make it slightly believable. <laughs> Do it. That's, <laughs> that's, what, that's the best part, Jonathan. No. That's the best yeah, no, part. I, I always find myself just laughing when they're being so overdramatic. <laughs> right? No. And Annalise wants to be a pastor. <gasps> yeah. So that is very inspirational, and, you know, th this is great. I love having these conversations because you can dream big, and you can do anything you put yeah. your mind to, you know? Yeah, there's a there's a woman pastor at my church that I'm kind of friends with, so shout out to her. Oh, that's so sweet. What's her name? Pastor Beth. Pastor Beth. Shout out to Pastor Beth. That's awesome. And what about you, Addison? Uh, my dream job is being an engineer at Disney, called a Disney Imagineer. I, I've, I've always, I've been saying that since I was in preschool. That's so fascinating. So what made you want to do that? I've always loved Disney. We, me and my family go to Disney a lot. I've just always loved it, and I've always thought designing the rides and stuff would be a ton of fun. Yeah, absolutely. I love going to Disney, so I definitely second that. Well, this week has been great. Lots of memories, lots of giggles, as you can see in the studio here. But let's take it back to the first couple days of camp, and let's just showcase everything that they learned and some of the interviews that we have. If you would say you had to choose, like, if that could be the only, if you could only ever watch that movie, or you could watch any other movie, but you could never see that movie, would you, what would you choose? What do you mean? What is your favorite color? You know, that's a tough question. There's many colors in the world that are very sophisticated. <laughs> that are very sophisticated. It's a very tough question, very complicated. But uh, I'll have to go with green, a uh, very common color. Yes, yes, yes. Why, why green? Why green? Green is just, it, it brings life to things, you know. Um, it really, it, it, it really makes you go, wow. What do you think you're gonna do this summer? Go camping. Where to? Sturgeon Bay. Ooh, mm. What's your favorite song? Um, In Summer from Frozen. I don't really listen to music. Um, why do you like that song? because I got to be Olaf in the musical and I've become one with Olaf. Are you doing anything for this summer? Uh, no. What do you want to be when you grow up? That is a very hard question. Let me answer that when I have a job. So one day the robot comes to life and it turns out that the robot has superpowers or something. So the boy get superpowers later in the movie or something and then they find these other people that become superheroes and then they try to save people. Sushi, I really like sushi. Why? Yeah, why do you like sushi? Uh, I, I, it's just really good. The rice mixed with the fish mixed with the seaweed is very good and then it's also, you never have to worry about it being too hot. It's always cold. <laughs> so, you like raw fish? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Sub sandwiches. Why do you like those? Because, I don't know, they're Italian. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good answer. What's your favorite food? I don't have one. Oh, my favorite food is a uh, steak. Ooh, a uh, Texas Roadhouse for sure. Oh, yeah, the, the rolls are really, really good. Uh, are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't know. One free appetizer. Yo. Yo, I gotta cool on. This interview brought to you by Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> They're like its own world. <laughs> you take a bite? No, no, no. You you don't you don't understand. You don't understand the life of tacos. Are you cheering up, man? What are you doing? Tacos, <laughs> they really change you. I think, I think we're done there. I'm your host with the most guiding yelling, and welcome to the first and last ever episode of Certified Yappers. I am with my feminine guest today, uh, Addison. 
Phoenix, and Annalise. Guys, water. <laughs> water. If it's warm, it tastes absolutely disgusting. Beans. Well, because Catholicism, 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 Catholicism. Did you know that angels are flying eyeballs? Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm your host, Kenneth Clipper, and welcome to Orient Today. We're going to talk about some really crazy stuff here. I think this is a practice, actually. This is a practice, okay, I'm sorry. Nice. You! In the, middle one. in the middle one and then that one over there. I'm this one with them. <laughs> I'll go first, I guess. Hi, my name is Drew, and I am short. Hi, I'm Gabby, and I love hedgehogs. Nice, these are my guests. Is would you rather eat 10 fried bugs or one fried snake? I say yeah, eat 100 chocolate cupcakes or 10 uh, banana splits. Either way, you're gonna get a stomach ache, but which one do you think would be worse? We need to keep the conversation going here. I don't like water. When it comes to pop, though, yeah, like water, like is not good. It's not. not it's just, water. it's just water. It's okay. plain. It's. I mean, I'll drink it, but like it has no taste, and that ruins yeah. the taste. What are you doing? Actually, being sponsored. No, this is not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you enjoyed your time here, watching this uh, show here. I, I did. I really, I really did. So thank you for listening in to everyone out there. Okay, what's your first item? So, once I was walking along the beach shore and I and I saw this washed up. I looked at it and it was actually from 1999. <laughs> 1999, best last project, good sentences, guys. Why are you doing the accent? It's very we agreed important. beforehand, no accents. No. Overall, I would put this at around $521.62. Very exact number there. I know my stuff. Uh, it was a, um, <laughs> it's a very old toy and very, and worth a lot. Okay, let me show that. <laughs> What's inside of it? Okay, yes, it's got, as you can see, it's also got long hands, sorry. It's also got the glowing finger and the glowing chest <laughs> that any teacher could have. Uh, I think this multiple. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I, I believe E.T. is having a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> so, one day when I was about eight years old, I was cleaning out my brother's room and I found this under the bed. Bro, what is this? I actually found out he stole it from a museum on a class trip. I'm sorry to cut this short, but uh, <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your day. And thank you for watching. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, a shimmy, a shimmy, yeah. That was me who zoomed in here. That was amazing. You all have taught me how to have so much fun with life because life is short and so we need to laugh, we need to soak in every moment. And I hope that this experience at the kids camp here at Orion ON TV was the best week for you of summer so far. And I'm sure it sounds like everyone has amazing plans. So big thank you to our crew behind the scenes, our crew and my hosts here today. I had Annalise, I had Addison, I had the one, the only, say your name. Kaiden. <laughs> <laughs> and Kaiden. let's bring out the rest of the applause, crew. Please. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. We want to show everyone. Come on. We want to show everyone. Yo, we want to see who everyone You all had the most important jobs here. Oh, phenomenal, five. phenomenal, oh, yeah. phenomenal. High five. <laughs> come on I'm in. I'm joined come by many people. I zoomed in. High five. Is nobody get up? Okay. What? I got, okay, high I got two in. Oh, Everyone's in. Everyone's in. I'm, I'm waiting. Y you so, can. double thumbs Whoa. up. We oh, all had a great time, right? Yeah. Woo! I Thank you so much. <laughs> Legs, get over here. High five. All right. I say we all Lexi, put our hands no. in. Okay. <laughs> on the count of three, we say one, two, three. O N T V. How's that sound? Yeah. Good. Okay. Ready? <laughs> one, two, two three. O N T V. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Amazing job. Amazing job. Good job.